Mass is a measurement used to describe how much matter something is made up of. In chemistry, we know that matter comes from atoms, and therefore, when we measure the mass of something, what we are really measuring is the total mass of all the atoms present in the sample. As atoms of different elements can all have different masses, the overall mass of a sample doesn't really give us much useful information about how many atoms or molecules there are in it. For this, we also need to know the mass in grams of one mole's worth of atoms of each element in the substance. This value is called molar mass, and rather usefully, is the same value as an element's relative atomic mass. They aren't, however, the same thing. Relative atomic mass has no units, whereas molar mass does. It has the units of grams per mole. For example, the relative atomic mass of hydrogen equals 1, and this means the mass in grams of one mole's worth of hydrogen atoms is 1 gram. The molar mass of hydrogen, then, is 1 gram per mole. We can't directly measure how many atoms or molecules are present in a sample, as they are too small to count. However, if we know the molar mass of an element or compound, we can use this and the total mass of the sample to find the moles of atoms or molecules in it. If the molar mass of a compound or element equals grams per mole, then that means molar mass equals mass in grams divided by moles. If we wanted to find the moles of a compound or element in a sample, we can rearrange this relationship, and this gives moles equals mass divided by molar mass.